Welcome to the American Republic, your go-to channel for the latest conservative news updates. Stay informed and please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Today, we are discussing the shocking news of Lisa Laflamme, one of Canada's most beloved news anchors, being fired from her longtime job for the shocking reason of having gray hair. It is outrageous that a woman could lose her job because of the natural color of her hair. This firing was a clear example of ageism and sexism at its worst. While men are allowed to have gray hair on air, women are not given the same privilege. This firing of La Flamme highlights a much bigger issue at play. It is the constant pressure on women to maintain a youthful appearance. Women are expected to dye their hair, put on makeup, and wear clothing that is deemed appropriate for their age, while men are not held to the same standard. Sorry to interrupt. This will only take few seconds. Dear fellow conservatives, I am writing to you today with a heavy heart, as once again we find ourselves silenced by YouTube. It seems that our voices are not welcome on this platform, while Democrats and left-leaning media are free to voice their criticisms without fear of reprisal. As you may know, our reporting focuses on free speech, and this has made us a target for those who wish to silence us. YouTube has deliberately removed our ability to earn revenue from our content. By restricting our account from showing ads and removing our revenue that helps our fellow writers and video editors pay. But we won't be silenced. Visit TheAmericanRepublic.com for exclusive news and opinions. We need your support to operate and pay our team. Your donations, any amount, mean the world. Check our YouTube description, click donate, and contribute. Each donation sustains our fight for free speech. Thank you for your support. And let us now continue with the story. Laflamme decided to stop dyeing her hair and allowed it to go naturally gray, highlighting the person she truly is while living on the air, speaking the news into existence. This decision should be applauded. Not punished, the firing of Lisa Laflamme was a blatant act of ageism and sexism. It is unacceptable that women are still being held to different standards than men, especially in the workplace. Lisa Laflamme had been a mainstay on the Canadian news program since she started in 2011, and her firing is a huge loss to the Canadian audience. We stand in solidarity with Lisa Laflamme and demand answers from the Canadian news company. We call on them to acknowledge their mistake and make amends for their actions. We urge our viewers to join us in the fight against ageism and sexism. It is time for women to be treated equally in the workplace and for society to embrace the natural aging process. That's it for today's episode of the American Republic. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news updates.